right, so for 2022, the color green is going to be trending in home decor. So for today's video, I'm going to give my review of the Sherwin-Williams 2022 Color of the Year Evergreen Fog. And I'm also gonna use it for a DIY. So let's get started. So this is Evergreen Fog by Sherwin Williams. I happened to go over to my local Lowe's store and I asked for a small paint color sample because I really wanted to give you guys a first-hand impression of this new trending green paint color. And when I first opened the container, it really looked gray to me. I really didn't even see any green for like the first five to 10 seconds. But as I started painting the swatch, it stopped looking gray and started looking a lot more green. And as it was wet, depending on the way the light was hitting my swatch paper, I did see some flashes of blue, but the blue was not very dominant. So I went over to the Sherwin-Williams website to kind of get an impression of what they say the color is. And they describe it as a calming hue, a chameleon color, um, and I definitely agree with the chameleon effect, where green meets gray with just a hint of blue. So I definitely think that this is a great color with a lot of crossover appeal. Now this color is quite dark. Um, as you can see, it really makes an impact and I did go very liberal with the application of paint on my swatch. Now because this color is so dark, I don't necessarily think it's a whole home color. I think at most you can put it in one room or do a nice accent wall. Now for me, if you guys are familiar with my channel, you'll know I just painted my home Repose Gray by Sherwin-Williams. If you haven't seen those videos, I'll post a link to those videos in the description and put one of those info cards up. But I just painted my whole home. So I'm not interested in doing an accent wall, but I do love seeing what's trending in home decor. So I decided to just do a DIY with it because I wanna add a couple of pops of color into my spaces without going overboard. And I think that one of the easiest ways to do that is to just put in a couple of accessories that really pair well with the paint color. Now being that my walls are already gray, I think this color being that it has a gray crossover appeal is going to be a nice compliment. So I went over to my local at home store. I picked up two white ceramic containers and I'm going to just put in a nice healthy coat of this evergreen fog on the accessories and then we're going to kind of see how that looks. When I'm finished painting these, I am going to decorate a little bit in the space just to kind of get my first impression of the color. All right, so now that I've finished my first vessel, I'm moving on to the second vessel that I found at my local at home store. Now I happen to find this small vase. It is really cute. It has two tones and also two different textures. Now the top of the vase is white. It has a nice smooth glaze. It's definitely not a great surface for painting because the paint's not gonna wanna adhere to such a smooth surface. But the bottom, on the other hand, has almost like a terracotta feel. It's got a little texture and graininess to it. So I'm going to use this sponge brush and I'm really going to make sure that I press the um, paint into all the little grooves and pores that are in this vessel. And I love the way the paint is adhering. Now I do believe the Sherwin-Williams paint is a paint and primer in one. So even though I'm using this evergreen fog on top of a beige um, surface, the evergreen fog is not going to change colors and it's going to look absolutely beautiful. Now when it comes to having neutral walls and wanting to add in a pop of color, it's great if you can have multiple items that add your pop of color, but also reflect the rest of your color palette. So for example, if I had just gotten two white objects and painted them completely green and that was it, I'd just have two random green objects thrown in space and it really wouldn't kind of show you the entire color palette in one item. Now sometimes that's a lot easier said than done, so I'm really happy to find a two-tone piece. So when you see me integrate white decor in with the green, you're going to see how this single piece really integrates both sides of my existing decor. So right now, I think the painting process is going very smoothly. I'm going to continue to paint this vessel and then I am going to let it dry and then we'll start applying these items into the room just so we can see how the evergreen fog integrates with my existing home decor and we'll be able to get a really good review on the paint color evergreen fog by Sherwin-Williams. All right, so this is what my home office looks like without any home decor added. And as I mentioned earlier, the wall color in this room is Repose Gray by Sherwin-Williams. 
And this is how the DIY turned out. I have to tell you, this Evergreen Fog by Sherwin-Williams is giving me so much life right now. The green is so pretty, but it's just got a very neutral tone to it. And I love the way it pairs with the repost gray. Now, when it comes to this vignette, the taller vessel is white and gray. I purchased that at Home Goods, and I just put it on the shelf as is. But of course, the two smaller vessels, I did paint with the Evergreen Fog. And I love the way that the gray pairs with the evergreen fog. Now, when you look at a lot of the pictures of the evergreen fog um, that Sherwin Williams is putting out for their promotional images, it's most often paired with earth tones and browns and just a lot of neutrals. And I think that that is also a really great way to use this color. But I have to tell you, I love the way it's pairing with the grays as well. So I think that there are so many great uses for evergreen fog and I would definitely highly recommend this color. Now, one of the things that I like about the Evergreen Fog is it has so much crossover appeal because it's green without being overly green. So it kind of gives me more of a modern version of like an avocado green. So I think this is an absolutely beautiful color that you can work into your home decor without kind of being in your face green, especially if you're not like a huge fan of greens or you just kind of want a subtle hint of color. I also think it looks really great with rooms that have like a lot of green plants so if you want to have green plants in your space but then you don't want it to feel kind of like a foresty type effect I think this is a great color that kind of gives you a neutral effect to the space but it will make other green tones in the room pop as well so here are my final thoughts on the Sherwin-Williams 2022 color of the year evergreen fog I think Evergreen Fog is an absolutely beautiful color. I think if you're in the market for green paint in particular, this is definitely a strong consideration. Do pick up a sample or get one of those paint chips and kind of give it a look-see in your personal space. I think Evergreen Fog would look really nice with a lot of boho styles or even farmhouse decor. And I also think it is the type of color that's going to look really good in a minimalist or Scandinavian styled space as well. Now, I would also say that I think this is a great color to consider for exterior paint colors, especially if you have like a craftsman style house, I could really see this color working well. I think when it comes to green paint, this is a nice color that you could use that's probably not going to date your home and that you could probably be happy looking at this color for the next five years or so. Now, on the other hand, people like myself who like to paint their walls neutral colors are probably never going to use this type of color for an accent wall. But I do think that there is a lot of potential to use it in smaller ways like I've done today when it comes to accessorizing your home. So if you like to follow home decor trends, especially color trends, then maybe using Evergreen Fog as an accessory color and painting over and upcycling some accessories that you might have picked up over the years might be a great way to modernize your space without breaking the bank or making a major commitment. Now I'd like to hear from you. Leave a comment in the box below and let me know what you think of Evergreen Fog. So I'm Danielle, the Domestic Scientist. If you like today's video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.